guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carrie Kemp. In real life, on Instagram, I am the Carrie Kemp. Um, spelled just like this because I know it's weird and it's hard to spell Carrie. There's a million ways. I get it. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for tuning in. I love your guys' love and support every single time I post a video. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. I am Carrie. <laughs> That's all I've got. Um, so today's video is Fashion Nova. I got another package from Fashion Nova. I got two bathing suits, um, two pairs of jeans, two crop tops, and a sweater. So I'm so excited to show you those. Um, I am in booty shorts just so that I can put the jeans on and show you guys how they go up and all that kind of stuff. Um, but before I do any of that, I am actually going to measure myself. So for those of you who are new, I measure myself at the start of every video. Just so that you guys get a good sense of my measurements compared to yours. So my bust is 43. My waist is 38. I always measure my belly because I do have a bigger belly. My belly is 49 and a half. And this big old booty is 53 so I like to do that um, at the start of every video so that you guys get a good sense of my size I can say I'm a size 18 but what does that really mean I could say that I'm X pounds but um, weight has nothing to do with size comparison so I don't do that I do measurements I think that that's the most accurate way to represent myself so yeah I'm ready for this Fashion Nova video I'm super excited I have tried everything on you guys have seen one of the bathing suits in Instagram and a pair of jeans with a crop top uh, you guys know me right now I'm so into crop tops like so into crop tops um, I just find that they let my back breathe you know how you like get that sweaty back yeah they let my back breathe and I find that they just like accentuate my curves the way I want them accentuated. So, yay. All right, so let's let's just jump into to some, some clothes. I'm gonna do the bathing suits last. So if you are here for the bathing suits, scroll right through to the end. That's okay, I'm okay with that. Uh, but I do wanna do the shirts and jeans first. So yeah, one second. Okay, so the first pair of jeans you guys seen on my Instagram, they are these boyfriend cut capri type jeans. Um, they're size 18. And I just washed them, so actually it's good that I washed them because they were actually fairly big on me. And even yet, they're still, they still have some room. I'm not sure if you can see the bottom but they go to like my lower calf um, they are straight cut they kind of have a frilled edge there's the back I really like them I think these ones were $30 so a good price for jeans I was super happy with them actually um, overall like when I pulled them out of the the uh, package I was like uh, why did I order these but then I like put them on and I really like the detail that they have here I find that it really like draws your eye into here and it makes your hips look a little bit smaller in my opinion but let me know what you guys think about these jeans and then on Instagram I actually paired it with this crop top sorry if it has fur on it uh, my dog is a fur monster let's just say that and I haven't had a chance to wash it separately so yeah, but here's the crop top. I think this crop top was 30. I'm gonna link everything below, including the, that all the tops were 1X and the two bottoms were 18s, but I'll link them all below because that was one thing that they wanted, that you guys all wanted um, in my last Fashion Nova video, so. So this is a longer crop top. If you're just getting into crop tops, this is the kind of crop top that you want. Something like a little bit looser fitting, baggy, something to wear around the house to get comfortable in. Um, 
maybe to the grocery store with some leggings, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm comfortable in this. I'm comfortable even like tying it up. You could totally tie it here. I'll show you kind of a quick little... So if I were to tie it, like this is what it would look like-ish. And I'm totally comfortable doing this anywhere. Um, but like these baggier crop tops are something that like new to crop top wearers. Is that even like a term? I'm going to make it a term. Um, typically start off as is something, something like this. And it's just comfortable. Uh, it doesn't show your stomach. Like I know a lot of people don't want it to show the stomach, but it's still short enough that it's going to air out your back like I really want. Um, they have this top in so many different colors, which is super cool. But it's time to move on to the next crop top. So, yeah. Okay, here we are. Um, this one I really liked because of the stripes. Right now I'm so into stripes, especially like the plain stripes like this. Um, it just accentuates my top half because I am not very busty and I do have a tiny waist. I can like... I think anybody could really pull off stripes, let's be real, but it just draws more attention up here and takes the focus away from this big booty and a belly, which I'm totally cool with. So this again has like the baggier sleeves, which I like. I like just like a more comfortable, this is perfect for spring, just like the last one I showed you. I think this one was $17. All of these prices are American. Um, again, a 1X. It's nice and loose. And this one is going to show a little bit more skin, depending on how high you wear your pants. I wear mine, so here's my belly button. I wear it, these pants are like right at my belly button. So if you wear yours like on your, um, your hip, your plus size hip, I call it, um, which is a little bit higher than the straight size natural hip line. If you wear it like right where your love handles begin, so right here, they kind of begin, there's that like, right underneath my back fat, there's a natural waistline. That is where I typically wear like my leggings. That's where I like my high-waisted jeans to be. These ones are okay. I don't mind showing my belly button. Um, they are still high enough that they don't go underneath my stomach when I walk. You know how like when you're like walking and like your pants go underneath your belly and then you're just like uncomfortable. I get uncomfortable, I don't like it. I like my pants to be over my belly. Just saying, that's just me personally. If you do it, that's, you do you, boo. I'm sure you look great. <laughs> but for me personally, my comfort level is over my stomach, just making sure that it doesn't slide down. Um, and these jeans actually didn't the day that I wore them. They do stretch out quite a bit, and then they become baggy. And so that's where you get that, like, boyfriend kind of look. Uh, Katie taught me that term, so thank you, Katie. <laughs> um, but overall, I really, really like the look of this it's just nice and casual again girls night out casual night going out for dinner first date this is this is super cute okay so now i'm going to show you the jeans before i switch shirts because i actually used this look on for last saturday i know i got this a little while ago i'm really sorry that i haven't been on youtube <sighs> And it's honestly like all my fault. Like I can't even blame it on anything or anyone. I just have been lazy. Let's put it that way. Been to the gym quite a bit. I've been pretty sore. <laughs> so again, these are an 18. These ones are the high waist that I really like. They are super stretchy. I think these ones are $36 or $35 US. But the front pockets are fake. There are no front pockets. You got back pockets. I like the little rip in the back pockets. I love how distressed these jeans are. They've got like a little distress at the bottom as well, which is so cute. Um, they fit me perfectly, I would say. Um, again, I'm 5'6". I'm going to quickly, for your sake, measure from the, this is like my natural plus size waist. I'm going to try and do this straight-legged as possible. Uh, 31. 
So these jeans are approximately 31 uh, from the top of the jean, which hits my natural waist, to the, the hem of it, which I think fits me perfectly. I just wanted to put my hands in the front pocket. That's the one and only thing that I can complain about with these jeans. I really like front pockets. So I love to put my hands in there and just be cash. Um, but overall, I'm super impressed with these jeans. I would highly, highly, highly recommend buying them. And I would say stay true to size. I probably could have went down to a 16. Um, I haven't washed these ones yet. Uh, or maybe I have. Actually, I did. I washed them with those. So yes, they... I have washed them and they didn't shrink at all and like I still got some room they're just comfortable right now but honestly I probably would have sized down to a 16 um, but I'm fine with the 18s as well like I do have thicker thighs because I gotta save some lives you know you know that saying yeah you guys know that saying <laughs> um, but yeah, overall, I really love these jeans. They are legit my favorite jeans that I have in my closet so far. Um, and that was the one reason I ordered two pairs of jeans with Fashion Nova this time was because you guys are always requesting a jean try-on with Fashion Nova. You guys are always looking for places to find comfy jeans. This is my third pair of jeans, and all three of them I'm super happy with. Um, the boyfriend, I would have sized down in. Um, these ones, I'm quite happy with both of them like I can make both of them work they're like I said they're super comfy uh, the only thing I probably just would have sized down in those ones I'm I'm okay with the size of these ones even uh, so so far I'm three for three on the jeans at Fashion Nova and I wouldn't tell you guys otherwise um, it was just like that first initial impression of oh what am I doing I gotta show you guys another shirt with these jeans it was the whole look um it was the first impression with those jeans that like threw me off but once I got them on and like I wore them with uh some adidas sneakers it was I mean you guys seen it on my instagram so go check out my instagram if you guys don't already follow me it's the carrie camp and you guys can check out that with the pink crop top but now I gotta move on to a different shirt so give me 30 seconds you know, it's so funny how I say 30 seconds, but really it's like half a second on YouTube because I edit out the me changing because I don't want the creepy guys messaging me about my bra. Yeah. I don't mind showing my bra. I don't mind being in my underwear even, but I am married and I got to respect my husband and his wishes. And honestly, I want to respect my marriage and I think that my husband should be the only one seeing me in that. Just saying. That's my own personal opinion. That's what I live by. You live by what you live by. Anyway, uh, you do you, boo. And I will support you wholeheartedly. Here is top number three. So I freaking love this top. So not only is it cute this way, and this is actually, this top, I bought it to wear it backwards. So on Saturday, I showed y'all well, I didn't show y'all. I, I showed the world because I wore it outside. Um, this look. So I turned it around. And then you have a cute back on here. You could also like bring it so that it's like kind of off the shoulder. And again, you have a cute back. You see your bra. You can hide it with this bow. I don't mind showing my bra. It's not a big deal. But yeah, how cute is this look? And then you can like kind of ruch it up in here or you can just leave it flat. I got so many compliments on this whole look when I went to the event that I went to. Uh, so if you're looking for compliments, this outfit in total, I think this top was like 25 bucks in a 1X. Um, I don't think I would have sized down in this one. It is big but I wanted it to be baggy, so I would recommend staying true to size. Like usually my top is a 1X. All three of these are fairly big. Um, sometimes I can fit into a large or even, um, I actually have a crop top that's a medium, just because I do have such a small upper body. Uh, and again, depending on the store. <laughs> but here I would stick to like a 1X. 
that's what I have bought all my tops from and I've been super happy with the fit. I don't mind baggier tops. Um, if I wanted to go for a more fitted look, I'd probably go to an extra large. So an XL and a 1X are two totally different things, just like a double XL and a 2X are two totally different things. An XL is smaller than a 1X. A double XL is about the same size as a 1X. So keep that in mind when you are looking um, that there are those two dif differences. A lot of act designers actually get that mistaken. They're like, oh, we go up to a 2X. And then you see that they have a double XL and you're like, that's about the equivalent of a 1X, but thanks. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyways, there's that. I'm gonna quickly change into bathing suit number unos and I'll be right back. All right, so here is uh, bathing suit number one. I believe that this one was a 2X and I typically will order a 2X in one pieces just because my bottom is so big. Um, if it's a two piece, like my other one, um, the top will typically be a 1X and the bottom will typically be a 2X. So this one, to be completely honest with you guys, I love the color, I love the idea of the bathing suit, um, but it comes up, in my opinion, too high here, and it comes down a little bit too low here. So anyone who's self-conscious about all of their lumps and bumps, even though they are beautiful, we all, all are a little bit self-conscious, and this is not something that I would even personally wear out, um, I bought it because it looked amazing on the model, um, however, it just does not look amazing on me. Uh, my butt eats it when I walk, <laughs> and it's just, I think that I love this belt. I'm definitely using this belt on another outfit, 100%. Um, maybe as a bodysuit this would be cute, but again, like I just have these side little love boobs and I it's just I'm not comfortable in it I'm just gonna tell you that right now I'm not comfortable in it if you are comfortable in it feel free to buy it I think that it is absolutely adorable um, I loved the pictures I was able to create in it um, you guys seen this one I was like holding a, a stretch board thing stretch board I can't even talk right now I was holding the, the stretcher, no, the strap, the board that like helps your neck. <laughs> I used to be a lifeguard. You'd think I know the, the terminology, but wow. Yeah. Yeah, forgot. Anyway, um, but yeah, overall, I love the color. I love the idea of the bathing suit, but it just does not flatter my body personally. So I'm gonna show you bathing suit number all right, here is bathing suit number two. I freaking love this bathing suit, but because I had to buy the top and bottom in the same size, this is a 2X, this is a 2X. The top is a little bit too big on me, but I would totally still wear it as is and just make sure, because the straps are removable, which is so cute. Um, it does not go, it's not high-waisted, I would say it's mid-waisted. It's got this cute little bow tie here. Um, but overall, it is so freaking cute, right? So I'm going to show you the back, nice and close. I'm just obsessed with this and cannot wait to go to a beach in this. It is my color. It is so cute. It's adorable. Oh, I just love this little bow tie effect too, like... I wish I had it on both sides to be honest, but overall I'm super stoked about this. So of all, how many pieces? Five, six, seven pieces. I'm six for seven. I'm super pumped that all of those pieces, the one bathing suit, I'm going to use the belt. So that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, overall super impressed so far with Fashion Nova. Like even in the last haul that I did, like I... The one dress I needed to like alter a little bit, but other than that, like 
there's one piece that I wouldn't wear ever. That's, that's pretty good, considering like the prices, um, quality for price. I find that the jeans are a decent quality for the price. Um, the tops, for the most part, decent quality for the price. Um, yeah, I really truly can't complain with Fashion Nova. So I know a lot of people are against like the whole fast fashion, but to me, it's cute, it's affordable, and those are the two things that I personally like. I don't make a lot of money. I'm on YouTube. I'm a, bit, I'm a new influencer. Influencer, I hate that term. Just because there's like that negative stigma with it. I mean, you can call me whatever you want. Just don't call me late for dinner. Um, but like I'm new to all of this. And so like on YouTube, I'm newer on Instagram. So, um, I don't make a lot of money, so it's all about affordability to me. And I think that that resonates with a lot of you guys out there. Um, affordability is a big thing. Like as much as I would love to go into Gucci, even though their stuff wouldn't fit me, <laughs> um, or like wherever and shop till I drop, I just, affordability is like number one for me right now. As long as it's cute and it's affordable, I'm gonna buy it. That's why I liked Giant Tiger. Super impressed with Giant Tiger, let's be real. Um, that's why I like Fashion Nova and support Fashion Nova, Giant Tiger, Walmart, um, Your Big Sister's Closet. Uh, Joe Fresh has some great pieces for an affordable price. Um, those are like my top places to, to shop. So uh, with all of that being said, that's gonna be the end of my video. That is, the reason you guys get the reviews from me, I let you guys know if I would personally buy it. I usually personally buy at least something from every haul. Um, I am a Fashion Nova babe, so they do send me the stuff. I'm going to be full front and disclose that. However, my opinion on any place will never ever fade. Um, if I don't like it, I'm going to let you guys know. Um, but I think that every store offers something different. So I don't think that any store in a sense is bad. Um, it's just, is it affordable? Is it cute? Is it accessible? How, how are the size ranges? Are they accurate? All that kind of stuff. So that when you guys are ordering online, you guys can feel comfortable uh, with purchasing the stuff. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave it down below. Let me know what your favorite outfit was. I'm gonna let you guys know my favorite outfit is the like ripped jeans with that like mauve knot twist thing here that I like wore backwards. I love that whole look, obsessed with it. You guys are definitely gonna see me living in that. I already have lived in it. I know that I haven't posted a picture of me living in it yet, but it's coming, it's coming. Just like the last one, you know, the like wrap top with the dark blue jeans that I got from Fashion Nova. Yeah, literally lived in those. Um, so if you see me in like a bunch of pictures with them, it's just because I genuinely love them that much. Like I'm not even like trying to wear them all the time. It's just those are my go-to outfits. That's how you know if I like something is if I continue to wear it and it becomes my like daily wardrobe, which all of those pieces actually have. And this is becoming in my this is coming into my daily trip little basket because I think this is help keep. Hella cute. <laughs> Anyways, that is enough of me rambling. I ramble. I know. I'm sorry. Um, I'm hoping to have a video come to you on Tuesday. Fingers crossed. It is a long weekend. My dog, as some of you guys might know, just underwent surgery. So we had to cancel all of our long weekend plans. And it's Scott's birthday actually on Monday. Um, so we're sticking around and hopefully I can do like a video with him because that would be kind of fun, right? Maybe I'll do makeup on him or him do makeup on me. Leave the suggestions down below what you guys want to see. If you guys want to see him getting makeup done or him trying to do makeup on me, uh, I'm interested to, or like any other kind of video. Do you want me to like dress him? I, I don't think he'd wear a dress and my clothes are hella big. <laughs> On him but uh, let me know if you guys want to see a video with him and I and maybe we can put some to get something together this weekend um, I hope you guys have an amazing long weekend I wish you and your family nothing but the best for this long weekend please be safe 
no drinking and driving, uh, no smoking and driving, don't do drugs and drive, please, whatever you do, just be safe. Um, I love you. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and that's it. I'm out. Mwah. Bye.